Hey guys, gals, and on binary pals, it is Joshy here, and I am back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel the Duelist of the Roses. Now, a couple of things. First off, there might be a bit of noise because someone has a food ball in here that she's eating out of, but it's better than her eating out of a bowl and staying fat for too long. Two, I'm finally back after Pokemon and everything, and three. I don't know. I probably look weird, but we'll say three is letting you guys know that I have done a fair bit of farming off stream. So I need to drop my uh, DC to verse him, so I will be doing that, but um, I don't know exactly what you guys saw deck leader wise, but as you can see, he's been promoted a fair bit. And he has now extended support range. Yay! Um, so let's empty this deck out. Right. Uh, obviously there's some new cards. Alright. Um, I'm going to take Gara Sword Oath. Um, we'll take two traps. I guess three of them don't hurt. Pick two there and two of them. That should do it. He is burning land. Okay. Both of those in. Uh, what I might do now is click the right buttons. Good. I'm going to put all three of her in. Gonna, I'm going to put another feed in. I'm not going to bother about the thunders for this match. Um, and you, okay, that's enough for fiends. Right. Two of you, key mace. Um, doesn't hurt to bring a new dragon. Lady of Faith. Aldine. Gotta take three Moon Knights in the deck. I don't have room for six more cards. Um, take one Judge Hand. Four cards, okay. Need a bean soldier. Happy lady. I'm after. But I don't think I'm going to get another plant card, unfortunately. Or him. I think that's it. Nope, that's literally, I have three plant cards. Alright, um... What's she doing? 
That should be fun just for shits and gigs. I should do okay with this deck. This is the thing, once you get enough cards and you know some fusions and whatnot, you can go through it this way. She ain't gonna be quiet. So, oh wait. Wait, was my face better up here? Or, I think, uh, we'll see in a second. Mm. So you're the one who they call the Rose Wars. I am Bakura. Uh, Red, uh, Red Tang card. Oh, warrior. This is not my voice very well. There was a time when some knew me as Jack Card or Mortimer. You stand on Celt soil where card dueling has been passed on for generations. In particular, my family have mastered the art of the dark duel. Well, shall we begin? Um, I can't remember if I'm better at the top or down the bottom. I know I'm a better top, but... <sighs> That's beside the point. I also don't think the game's too loud, which is good. I hope I'm not competing against it too much. Now I feel like I am. Alright. That feels a bit better. Okay, let's zoom out. Um, I am better off down the bottom. Whether I was in the other videos is a different. Oh, I forgot. He has his deck later ability. Um, for those who don't know, don't remember or whatnot, you can't move into the crush terrain, which is these with anything 1500 or higher. And because he gets boosted by all the other terrain, he will be under 1500 in the there, but above it, outside of it. Now I could take him out, but the problem there would be that I would die. Not anymore. I am now free to move around in many places. I realized I should have bought Mountain as well, because I bought very little, uh, oh, wrong button, field editing cards. Um, well, he was, maybe he's a trap. Um... ability is. Wrong one. Um, oh no, he doesn't, maybe he goes back to the deck? I don't remember. There is something anyway. I think Bakuru's deck is one of the ones where if he falls in his right area or you don't have the right deck, easily beaten. Um. Get a Rose Spectoid of Dunn. Obviously it's Rose Spectre of Dunn, but anyway. Move 
her onto there. Because then she can move twice. Damn, bitch. My poor moon envoy. And now she's back to mine. I mean, I probably could have won that turn, but I mean, I could have, because instead of giving her a boost, I could have just killed the Laughing Flower. give up. And if I'm better down the bottom. This. Okay. Jim would be better at the top and I also don't know why I just realized I think I may have been cutting out some of the screen so I apologize. Jim, for Christ's sake. That is much better. No promotions or demotions. But it's not like it was a long duel. Oh yeah, and he can make combinations in so many different ways. Okay, I didn't get one, but I really did want Vile Germs. Um, there's a good chance I'll even play this on the side after the game is done. Which is not long. Oh, there's no way. I warn you, your next field of battle will be your last. Be prepared to meet your maker. Uh. Burpee. Um, before we battle in Breast, a couple things. First off, I don't know when my reincarnation is. There's some idiot screwed up there. Don't okay. And it's now. Um, I have three Kai's dragons. Why not? Let's reincarnate a Moon Envoy. I have a heap of them anyway. May have already had him. I did not have him. And I had Raised Body Heat. Oh no, I didn't have him. Wasn't a great one, but doesn't matter. Um, all right. Just for the moment, everyone out. Um, all right. Nope. Oh wait, you're. So oh, you can go in there. See if I can build myself a little deck that is all based around my. Actually, which one are you?
for my mystical elf. Oh, I already have my three million envoys in there. <clears throat> Perry's gift in just because I like it. Let's go down to these for a second. I we'll take a monster reborn. We'll take burning land. That for only fairies. No, I. Three mega morphs. Castle. Oh, we got nine cards left to add. What do we need for these guys? I make a dark elf. Elf that. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I want to bother with that. Not going to bother with them. Alright, um, I will, however, add a few little cards. I'm going to add two sword stalkers because they can come in a lot, quite handy in a pickle and him. Alright, um, I don't know what I want to add now. One we uh should we add two? We can add two, why not? Even though it doesn't really work. My main idea. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have one, two. Okay. Let's go to that. I have a look at what we've got. If there's any I want. One more card. One of you, that'll do. Pretty low deck uh, cost, so I should be able to use this for the rest. We'll just see how it goes. Now, off centered because I'm sitting differently, and I did notice before the end, but before too long. So you finally come to face me, duelist. If you're as good as they say, because the better the duelist, the better the game. I mean, I feel like you'd be like, oh, you bought traders. And apparently that's now, I don't know. Nobody listen to me. I mean, listen to me, but don't listen to me. Hey, you know, like, the, the two, but no, but, yep, yeah, but no, but yeah. Wish you could set your natural stance. All right, what do we got? Um... Start with that there. That's not what I want. Um, but I look, but I look.
I think I'm just, I, I mean, I drew blue eyes. I might as well use blue eyes. See if I can draw him into attacking. Oh, you tried. Well, I drew him into attacking. God damn it, that's not who I wanted. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, of course he gets a destiny draw. He didn't even use the card he got. Uh, for those... Wait, have we had a destiny draw at all this... I thought that might be the case. Could be a trap. What do I have? I wanted. Well, Dark Magician Girl, you ain't defeating Dark Witch. It's a light attribute monster. And then Guy the Fierce Knight, you also aren't defeating Dark Witch. Damn it, has he got 100 LP left? 200. And I don't know why I couldn't say life points. Um. Well, it could be a terrain card here, but anyway. Oh, I didn't get Mystical Elf because I didn't use an Elf before, that's why. Or maybe I did. Oh, I don't know. Such a snowballing, like, deck if you get it going, because it just ups light attributes. So having one, you know, it would also up my warrior, like my deck leader warrior. Uh, what else do I have? This dark attribute thing is gonna be the death of me. Um, I might. Not really that interested in keeping her. Because I need one card to keep playing new cards. I'm gonna have to move somewhere now.
Yay! Moon Envoy! I was hoping to draw a Moon Envoy earlier, so I could have him do a lot of work and get boosts, but he didn't. You cockwaddle. Oh, it even got rid of my Monster Reborn because it was in attack. Thank God I hadn't summoned yet this turn. Elf and a fairy. Oh, that would have been his destiny draw from earlier. Fair enough. Fairy's nuts. There is a ritual in here I wouldn't mind getting. I missed. Shit. I still could have got the freaking thing. I just could. Oh my god, I'm a dickhead. I hope he at least gets something extra. I. I lose. You know this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter for my cause. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear that I will one day rule over all of England. Now you're making yourself sound like the bad guy, Yugi. A Yugi. Now that all the rose card, oh, now that we have all the rose cards, it is time to head for Stonehenge. Okie dokie. Whee! The ritual is complete. The power, the world, with the power of the cards behind us, all will be ours for the taking. The time has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. The big light, that no, skylight is what I tried to say. Mickey! Again. Men are widen. Um, I I liar. I'm guessing. Anyway, long have I waited for this day. You are the ones responsible for this. First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt, using him duel after duel, and then you <coughs> burp. Dare to, sorry, sorry, excuse me. Dare to seal him away again. Unforgivable. It looks like we've, I've failed again. Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes. I demand justice. I shall feed on you and your kind. Every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. It's up to you, duelist. The e this evil that's awakened can only be laid to rest by you. Only by defeating this vile creature will you be able to undo the summoning. At least that's what the legend says. Quiet, mortal! It is time to avenge my brother. Ha! I love that he's literally over double my deck cost. Let's see how we go. Prepare to meet your doom. I'm very prepared. I washed myself twice this morning. Actually, I haven't showered this morning. You didn't even know that, though. 
In the center of this actually greatly benefits uh, me. Where do we go? Shit. Right. Oh, I forgot to zoom out. Chakra. Fine with me. Uh, okay. Do we? Yeah, we do. Right. No, no, we don't. Um. I'm going to play these two, but I'm not going to burst them, because I nearly, nearly forgot that they don't equal the card I want. Am I going to get bad draws this turn, this game? Well, shiznit. Okay. Not the worst. 2-7. Can deal with it. Just... Okay. That is much better. But Moon Envoy, what do we got? 5, so 21. I'm going to send Moon Envoy out this way. So, 24, we're going to go to 29 as soon as we step out here. And, and, in a beneficial thing for me. Just stole all of my stars. Cool. Rude. Alright. Okay, good. We can go go. Good. Oh, not on you, though. Shit. I only draw three a turn, though. Shit, shit, shitty shit. I have to take a risk here. not going to be bad to be recovering a little bit of life points in a vital battle like this. Didn't get it. Didn't get what I needed. She's bound to. I just think that's probably a good choice at this point. Okay, so we boost same type friendlies. Oh, I could use that. Okay, but I have six this turn, so... This is a play I'm gonna have to make. I'm sorry, Moon Envoy, I just can't. But. Oh, wait, no, I probably should send Sword Stalk around to the side. Actually, to be honest, I probably could use Sword Stalker right now. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, okay. Wait, that's only two six. Shit. 
Oh, it's in my graveyard. Oh my god, I deserve that. Oof, dickhead. Ooh, is that a kid? I'm a kid. Oh, that's right, it's a fiend. I just don't want to move him a little closer yet. I'd like to get, you know, one defensive notion off. Six, uh, 14, okay, cool, 22. Unfortunately, I have to use two of my elves for this. Um. Unfortunately, I've got to let someone take that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, you're about to get a boost of 300, but not ever. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. I so said that's the fifth monster on the field. Stupid. That was close. Take that, boob eyes. Probably has a trap beside him, but. his cards back. Um, I'm going to bring Summon Skull. The reason being is that I get a boost in here and I'm not going to be fucked over by dark monsters. Like Berthamet. This is going to do to me. Ooh, did you seriously not have a trap? Did I just win? That came easier than I expected. But I guess he wasn't prepared. Ta-da! Good work. I want that red eyes. Right. 
Damn it! Nearly lined up red eyes. But I have red eyes, and I believe I have a summon skull. So now I can make red eyes skull dragon. Which doesn't really matter, but I can do it. How do I do his voice again? No! No! This is not justice! I I cannot lose! Impossible! No! Bye! The summoning is undone. My family. Legend has it that my family was the only noble line to actually enter into a pact of glory with the card guardian. But sometime in the past, the, the pact, I don't even know what's meant, was broken for reasons that are veiled in the mists of history. For generations, our family has searched <clears throat> the world in the hopes of finding the same card guardian to revive the pact and add the glory that was once ours. Since that day, I inherited the Book of M at Dumkol. I searched far and wide. Many are the guardians I've awakened, only to return them to their resting place. To date, my search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded. You can't imagine how excited I was when I'd come to England and learned of the Rose Duelist legend. Needless to say, the results was anticlimactic at best. I apologize for dragging you into all this. I will honor my promise of returning you to your own age. However, I fear that that is not enough to repay you for your help. Wait. Here, take this back with you. It will continue in my... Oh, I will continue in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps in my destiny to fail. Uh, sorry, perhaps it is my destiny to fail. But my descendants shall carry on the search. Should you meet such a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. Far fr for from this day onwards, my family is ever in your debt and will lend whatever support it is us is within their power to provide. This I promise as an eternal pledge, a pledge of roses. Or so homosexual. In the days that followed, the mystic bar uh, barrier maintained by the sorcery of the cards faded away, leaving England's shores vulnerable to invasion. In August of 1485, Yugi, Henry Tudor, successfully landed at Milford Haven. Defeating Richard III in the Battle of Bosworth, Yugi had, was crowned as King of England, or King Henry VII. I didn't read that probably. The Tudor reign, the Tudor... The Tudor reign was to continue on until Elizabeth I. As for Seto and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England, never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of an inscription carved on the back of the Rose Pendant. Man is born to die. But the Pledge of Roses in, is born to live throughout all eternity. It is my pledge recorded in mystic numbers. Well, I mean, I can't look at that and not see the word penis. Yeah, penis V. Well, obviously we have this code to put in now. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duels to the Roses. The White Rose Chapter. End. Save. Yeah. And so... Oh. I clicked. What, what console am I using? And that's it. We can't skip this, unfortunately. I forgot this takes a while. But yeah, that's the game, pretty much. There's not really any post story. What I am going to do, though, slide across and click the reset button so I don't have to watch all this. Because I did proper say. Watch out, Kyrie. Thank you. Um, yeah. But I, I really enjoy this game. As I said, I can grind this on the side now just to get boosts to deck leaders. Really? Literally? Literally? 
no reason to do it unless you were going to verse someone else. The problem being is if you do verse someone else, you both see each other's cards. It's not like there's online dueling. That's why I think some of these games would be really cool to come back with that. But this game could have definitely had like a challenge mode as well, where you could turn on challenge battles and stuff. But I guess they didn't need to for it to be really... I mean, it was only a spin-off Yugi game too. But what I was going to show you is if I continue now. Everyone is here. I can do absolutely any battle I want. And I can even come here and pop through them. So why don't we have one more battle against Kaiba? His deck... Well, his, sorry, his map, that's it, layout is uh, quite easy to deal with. And I can continually battle anyone now on. Oh, which I should have showed you something. Um, See what Mr. Kaibara does. Perfect. Uh, actually, no. Those two. As long as it's a fairy under 800 and an, a, an elf under 800. The reason I did that one is because I wanted to make sure he's in a good spot so I can stop Kaiba doing summons diagonally there. I don't know what that card is, but anyway. Okay, he's two, that's alright. That'll leave me enough for next turn. and now you're at 3,500. <gasps> no! Well, that was a disappointing thing to happen. I'm a disappointed man. naturally. Five and eight. I'll just wait till I'm ready.
Yeah, I can summon my man. I uh, yes, I can. Make sure that doesn't affect my moon envoy. You're both two seven. Just get my moon envoys ready and go on assault. Twenty-five and twenty-two. Okay, we just need a little bit more to make sure I'm happy. Um, well, you're lower, so you can have that. I would like to be able to make one more mystical elf, that's what it's called. Now you're high, 27. Probably a ritual or something. She's destroyed, I know. Well, 1600 ain't very... <sighs> Whatever I'm trying to say. I'm going to deploy my other Moon Envoy over the top and give him these two boosts. Sorry, Moon Envoy. Make Ray... Ray? Make way. I'm not going to send him back out yet. cards left in my deck, so I have to be a little safe. Um, just going to move you over that side. Just so if something does happen... Alright, well... You're learning, apparently. Okay, so I'm another elf. Thank God. I need to clear out some more cards. Do not want to attack with the other one just yet. Oh, 
Of course. Should have seen that coming. Oh, this is actually going to make a fusion. Whatever. Let's just give me an extra boost anyway. Yeah, high enough, right? Yeah, full full. Thank God. Yeah, you're kind of in trouble now. Why did I put you there? It's all spells. What you gonna do now, Mr. Kaba? Might as well end it with Moon End Boy. And it is as simple as late. Ah, no promotions. Not at all, Roman. The only problem about versing some of the stronger people, some of their cards will not show up on here, and thus you end up with a bunch of stuff like that. But that's it. That's this playthrough. Uh, if you'd like to see something, like, I don't know, there's a bunch of different cards in here. I can work at getting some promoted if someone really wants to see what some deck's leader's ability. If you want to see me unlock some extra stuff, you know, I can do a lot of different stuff. And I mean, I only have 76 individual cards. Oh, we didn't try... We didn't put the password in. Forgot about that. What password did we get given? Why? Three, four. Oh, you got away. P. N. One. S. V. Ooh, nice. Earth Shaker. The reason I say nice is it's a fun card. Randomly shifts the position of cards and changes the terrain on the field. In addition, all labyrinth squares become normal squares. So it literally gets rid of labyrinth, makes it normal, and just absolutely randomizes the shit out of the field. It's a really fun card to muck around with. So I'll probably do some of that. But anyway, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, if you are enjoying this, I don't know why I already said that, or you did enjoy this playthrough, then a like is always appreciated. But don't forget Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are linked down below. And in the comments section, you can suggest a Yu-Gi-Oh! game, you can suggest things you want to see in this. As I said, like, you might go... Oh, I'm already on the side. You might go, oh, I, you know, I really love Hishinijin. My nose. Or, I really love that shitty head. Or that guy. Or two mouth dark ruler. Or you might go, I wanna see you make the weakest card you have into a deck leader, which is 
him really at the moment i have one of them but it, it could be you know whatever and yeah or whatnot i'm happy to do things on request um because i enjoy doing them but i don't see the point of doing a little muck around video where i can do it myself and still enjoy it but it's not going to be worth it for the one or two people who may watch this playthrough <laughs> but i enjoy making them anyway uh don't forget as i said on top of that as i said i didn't say this yet but the channel there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content i'm trying to get through more and more of it uh it's just a bit of like Pokemon got in the way, so I've got more recordings and stuff to do, but I'll get there. Um, and then there's a lot of other content outside of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I appreciate those who check it out. And then if you want to support the subs the subscribe, subscribing helps out. I can't talk today. You can ring the bell if you want. But whatever, this video is over. This playthrough is, at this point, completed completely. So anyway, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, until my next video, I'll see ya.